Welcome to the Ultimate Life Television Program, brought to you by Pastor Gracia Selassie Awie of Treasure House ICGC, where you are treasured and not trashed. There is a substance known as PTFE. It's a long name, polytetrafluoroethylene. A unique chemical substance, and it's man-made. In other words, it does not occur naturally and it's become known as the slipperiest substance in the world. Neither water nor water containing substances wet PTFE. The DuPont Corporation branded it as Teflon. PTFE is used as a non-stick coating for frying pans and uh, cookware or other cookware. The interesting thing about Teflon is it only sticks to substances that are rough. That is why when you cook eggs in a normal steel pan, the eggs come apart because they stick to the rough parts. In our lives, there are rough parts. What God wants is he wants to coat our lives with something supernatural so that when things try to stick on you, they just slide off. So we need to become Teflon people. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Life uh, broadcast. I'm your host, Gracious Selassie Awe, pastor of ICGC Treasure House. John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. It's called the Ultimate Life, life above the ordinary. That's God's will for you during our last episode we're looking at the subject of shake it off we're looking at paul and how he was bitten by a venomous viper a venomous viper attached not bitten a venomous viper attached itself to him and how he didn't let that viper bite him but he shook it off and we say that life can be tough life can be unpredictable so when things attach themselves to you you need to learn to shake them off that was the first point. Number two, you need to keep a spirit of servanthood. Do you notice that when they were gathering sticks, the Apostle Paul didn't sit down and say, I'm tired, I've been shipwrecked, save me. Paul was a great man of God, but he got up and picked up wood with the rest of them and added to the fire. Do you know what we've got in the Christian world today? We've got Christians who will serve so that they can end up on the platform. Then once on the platform, they want to sit to be saved. People no longer want to serve. We've created, or we've even created a Christian culture of celebrities. But you know, Jesus said, to be great, you must be a servant. If, if, you want to, if you want to be great, you must go through the servant's quarters. It's more, it's, it's, there's a blessing in serving. Paul ended up on that, on that island, mighty man of God, shipwreck. He didn't say, I'm a victim. We need to be careful when things attach themselves to us that we don't become victims. I'm depressed. So, you go to church and you don't serve anymore. Why, why, why are you not volunteering? Why are you not serving? Oh, because I'm going through a, a, a lot. So you stand with me. And you've been saying that over and over and over and over again. Tell, you've said it so much or, or too many times. Let me put it that way. The best way to get out of depression or, or, or despair is to learn to shake it off and say nothing is going to stop me serving in the house of God. The, the best way to take your eyes off yourself is to shake off what's happening to you and give to other people. And the Apostle Paul comes out of the water drenched and he participates. And we've got to be like that. 
You know when you participate in church or you, or you serve, you could get hurt because there you are gathering people and out comes a viper, a viper of jealousy, a viper of gossip, a viper of misrep misrepresentation. What, what are you going to do? That's when people say, I'm going to another church. And, and they tell you, I'm moving on. You know, somebody once said that if, if you find a perfect church, don't join it. Because you, you mess it up with your imperfection. So long as you're on people's planet Earth and you're dealing with people, you'll be misrepresented. People talk about you, you'll be hurt. So shake it off. Because life is like that. And you've got to keep seven. And some of you are saying, Pastor, you don't know how hard it is for me. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know how hard it is. But you'll be amazed how strong you can become. I, I read about children who are sensitive to nuts. Some of them are so sensitive that one hundredth of a nut, uh, one hundredth, forgive me, one hundredth of a peanut can make them can make them come out in an allergy. So what doctors have done is instead of letting them stay victims and letting the condition cling to them, they begin to feed them one top one, one thousands one thousand of the peanut. They begin to feed them one one thousandth of the peanut of the peanuts, forgive me. Then over six to eight months period, they give them more. They keep giving them more. And at the end at, at the end of eight months those children are eating bags of nuts. You can't build up immunity to things if you allow yourself to face it. But if you let it stick on you, you become a victim. I don't save anymore. Look what life did to me. Please shake it off in the name of Jesus. Shake it off. Shake it off. Number three. You need to shake off the judgment by people and yourself. When you go through challenges, when you go through difficulties, when you go through challenging circumstances and, and situations, the, the people watching you will always make judgments. That's how people are. One minute they saw a viper on Paul's hand and they didn't say, hey, let's help you. They said, this man must be a murderer. How, how many of you have had people come to you when, when you've gone through hardship, when, when you are not getting better? They say there must be sin in your life. You, 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 you must have opened a, a secret door somewhere and the devil got in. Please don't be weird. Don't be weird. And don't be over spiritual. Don't let people put you off because one minute they will say is demonic and you open the door, the next minute they will call you God. You mustn't be fooled by people because if you live your life by people, you are going to end up in challenges. I'll say that again. If you live your life by people, you are going to end up in challenges. You've got to be careful because there are always people looking to blame someone. People will look at your life and blame something in your life for it. You, you must have done something wrong. Is that not what Job's friends did to him? John chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents? And he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God 
should be revealed in him. Who caused this shipwreck? How did Paul end up there? We, we don't know what the circumstances are. Life brings trouble and pain. But, but Paul ended up on a place. If he shook off the viper, he could actually heal a whole lot of people. Now this is the challenge. You've got to be careful. You don't do this to yourself. It's one thing when people do this to you. It's another thing when you do it yourself. I, I wonder why this happened. It's probably because I did this. It's because I thought that. You know, the Bible says that there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You, you've got to be careful. This stuff doesn't stick on you. You've got to shake it off. Don't live with people's opinions. Don't live with your own condemnation. Press forward. Press forward. Let me, make, let, let me say this to you. We, we do lie before the crowds, but we can't live for the crowd. We can't stop living before people, before the crowd, but you can stop living for the crowd. And you mustn't let the crowd's opinion sway you and, 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 their, and, and their emotions and, and their fickle opinion of you. You need to be a person that rises above it. And you need to say, I don't care what people say. I don't care what my heart says. I'm not letting this thing stick to me. No way. I'm going to let it slide off. I read about this little creature called uh, an unsinkable pygmy gecko. It's so tiny. It can sit on a fingertip. That's how tiny it is. And a drop of rainwater can actually drown it. But because it has a skin that is water repellent, it can sink. Thanks to its hydrophobic skin, it floats and even stands on water. So sometimes they call it Jesus gecko because it walks on water. You've got to become like that. Even though you are small, when people's opinion comes, it can get you. And, and you run along the water and you're going to survive. You mustn't let stuff stick to you. I read about this black boy in America who lives in Atlanta called Deontay Bridges, the first African-American valedictorian in his school in 10 years. He went to the Booker T. Washington School in Atlanta. Booker T. Washington was an ex-slave who uh, raised his life and became a teacher and then later got an honorary master's degree from Harvard. He used his life to encourage black people out of slavery and elevate their lives. This boy went to that school, but you need to know his background. While he was a young teenager, his brother, who was like his best friend, died. Then his mother got diagnosed with terminal disease called leukemia. While his mother was dying of leukemia, they broke into his house and attacked him. He became so scared, he couldn't even go out in public. But he didn't let that stick to him. He pressed on. He had 26 scholarships offered to him with a million dollars. You mustn't let stuff stick to you. The opinions of people, you need to shake it off and move forward. Number four, you need to shake off things before they attach themselves to you. Paul didn't analyze the snake and debate over it. He just shook it off. And they can't be shaken off in your life. Things like discouragement, sickness, and, and, and hurt, and disappointment, and, and fear, and, and lust, and pain, and, and unforgiveness. They, they will try to fasten themselves on your life. And you need to live your life shaking things off every day, every day. I, I can't afford to have things stick to, to my life as a leader. I have to shake them off quickly. If a viper calls itself around you, it takes a while before it bites you. So get rid of it before it bites you because it will turn your muscles 
to liquid. And you've got to do that if you are going to move forward in life. One of the things that can stick to you is discouragement. Rick Warren says this about discouragement. He describes it as a disease. There are three things about discouragement. And when you have this understanding, you, you get a handle on how it's impossible or, or yeah, it, it, it's, it's impossible for you to let it stick to your life. When, when you understand these three things. Number one is universal. Discouragement is a universal disease. In other words, everyone gets it. It's not like some people get it and others don't. Everybody gets it. Number two is reoccurring. It's not something you catch once and then you get over it. You catch it again and again and again and again. And if you let it stick to you, it will make you sick. Number three is contagious. Everyone can pass it on. You can't afford to let it stick to you. We can't afford to let things stick to us. We've got to enjoy life. We need to learn to shake things off and move on in life. Shake it all before it fastens itself on your life. Especially when it comes to rejection. People get rejected. And then they live with that rejection. Jesus said to his disciples, when you go into a city and they don't welcome you, shake the dust off your feet. Because you can't afford to go on with dust on you. Because it reminds you of those people. You need to shake it off so that the next place you go, you are ready and you'll be a blessing. It's the same as sin. The Bible says if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you. Because once it's gone, it doesn't stick on you. It cannot poison you. Number five, you need to expect solutions to be nearby. The Bible says that while he was going through this challenge or this unfortunate situation on this island already being shipwrecked nearby there was an estate isn't that cool ha. you might be going through life challenges at the moment just nearby there's a solution and god has got prominent people who can lead you into favor too many christians spend their time looking for publiosis publiosis where are you Publius, where are you you just serve god you just said God, you just shake off sin. You'll be amazed how God will connect you with people. God will lead you into his blessing. You connect you to people who lead you into his blessing. I believe that every connection that we have in life is supernatural. Even if it occurs by accident, people you meet, circumstances, and, and, and things just fit together. God's divine will is in all of it, leading you into destiny. And sometimes hardship turns into a Piblos estate. Once there's a viper, next minute there's awesome blessing. That's God's plan. And he will bring important people into your life to bring gifts and release an opportunity. Number six, if you don't shake it off, you won't be able to help others. Can you imagine if Paul was bitten? That would have been the end of the story. Imagine if you read and he came out on that island and a viper bit him. Can you imagine that? And today, you can visit Malta and there's a cross mark, Paul, the great apostle. But instead, he says, he went to Publius' house. He, he was entertained. He prayed for the Father. He prayed for the whole island and miracles occurred. And you know what? You have to get over your issues because if you don't, God can't use you. And the devil has nothing more but to wrap himself around our lives in some way, fasten himself on us with, with his unexpected challenges. So we can, we can all be in church, but we are no good. We are all victims. Do you serve? No, I don't. In my last church, I served, and they told me I can't sing. In my last church, I, I was an usher, and, and they all didn't like me. You need to shake it off and move on. You've got to keep your life free from these, from these things. When, when, when they coat these non-stick pans with Teflon, they spray the whole pan with the whole coating so that the whole cookware is coated with it. And it can't come off. A lot of Christians haven't immersed themselves fully in the supernatural. They come to church on Sunday and they get a bit of spray on them and by Tuesday is worn off 
and, and the, the, the egg of the world sticks on them. And then they come to church on Sunday, egg field. And then they get another spray and they say, thank you for that meeting. God wants you dipped in the supernatural. He wants to put his soup on your natural. He wants you living a life immersed in him. Then things won't stick on you. Sin won't stick on you. Because if sin sticks on you, you are going to be trapped. And you think you can manage it. There's a guy who had snakes in his life as a hobby. And he thought he could milk the snakes for their venom. But they bit him. They bit his thumb and the whole, the whole thumb turned to liquid. They had to stitch his thumb to his groin. A guy with his thumb stitched to his groin is of no use to anybody. There are people who have been bitten and they, they can give life to no one. They thought they could milk the devil. Don't think you can manage that pleasure sticking on your life because it's quite nice in some way. No, it's not. You are going to get bitten. It's going to turn you to jelly. There's a spider called the orchard spider and it's a fool. What happens to the orchard spider is wasps lay eggs on its back. Then a grub emerges and it lives on the orchard spider. And the orchard spider says this. It's not a problem. Everyone has got issues. And uh, it lives its life while this little grub crawls around on its back. But what it's doing is, it's actually living off the spider. But the spider doesn't know because it thinks it can manage. And instead of shaking the grub off, it puts up with the grub. This is a weird thing. The parasitic wasp grub injects the orchard spider with a hormone that deranges it and halts the spinning of web. The grub then sucks the liquid from the spider's body and uses the remaining silk to form its cocoon. There are things in your life. If you let them stay on your life and you think you can come to church and, and manage it and milk it, there's going to come a day when you wake up and there's confusion in your life and you're all over the place and you ask what happened, you never shake it off. And you've got to learn to, you've got to learn to shake off everything in your life so you can go on. Otherwise, you'll never be used by God and to be a blessing and to heal other people. If this message has been a blessing to you, but Jesus is not your friend, he's not your master, he's not your savior, and you want to come into relationship with him, I want to invite you to do so. I want you to pray this prayer with me. It's your prayer, but you add the heart to it. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me and rose again. I confess you with my mouth, or I confess that you, I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord, you are my master, you are my savior. Come into my life. If you pray this simple prayer, I want you to know you are born again, you are a child of God and welcome into God's kingdom. If you are a child of God or if you are a Christian and you are going through any challenge or any difficulty or something or things have attacked themselves to you and, and they seem to be poisoning you, I speak healing for you. I speak deliverance for you. I declare that you, you are being lifted right now in the name of Jesus. Anything that has attached itself to you to harm you, I declare it to not harm you. I nullify the poisonous effect in your life. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching the Ultimate Life television program. We hope you have been blessed by the teaching. Tune in to our next program on the same channel and the same time next week. You are cordially invited to visit Treasure House ICGC for our Sunday morning church services at the New Horizon Center, South Lodge Avenue, adjacent to the Pollard Hill Library, CR4 1LT. Our service times are as follows, Sunday 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and Wednesday 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. For ministry products and other information, please contact us on 0208 355 3461 or send an email to pastor at treasurehouseicgc.co.uk. You may also visit our website www.treasurehouseicgc.co.uk. You can also download our ministry app, Gracious Awee, to listen to Pastor Gray's messages from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. May God richly bless you.
listen to me, detours were always okay. I read about the Norwegian Dream. It's a cruise liner built by the Norwegians to sail the North Sea. On the 24th of August, 1999, it collided with the Panamanian uh, flag, container, uh, flag container ship Ever Decent in the English Channel. And the containers ended up on top of the Norwegian Dream. And as a result, the dream cruise that many people had saved up for was detoured. It had to go into a harbor, it, it had to be repaired, and the people on that cruise could either go home and say, well, that's the end of our dream cruise, or they could get into another boat and continue. Never allow the detour to kill the dream. So watch out talking too soon. Watch out for people closest to you. Watch out for details. Thank you for watching the Ultimate Life Television program. We hope you have been blessed by the teaching. Tune in to our next program on the same channel and the same time next week. You are cordially invited to visit Treasure House ICGC for our Sunday morning church services at the New Horizon Center, South Lodge Avenue, adjacent to the Pollard's Hill Library, CR41LT. Our service times are as follows, Sunday 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and Wednesday 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. For ministry products and other information, please contact us on 0208 355 3461 or send an email to pastor at treasurehouseicgc.co.uk You may also visit our website www.treasurehouseicgc.co.uk You can also download our ministry app Gracious Awee to listen to Pastor Gray's messages from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. May God richly bless you.